is the big 500 gram. What's up guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and in this video we are not only going to teach you how to e-fire your favorite fireworks products, even if they have a fuse, but we're also going to teach you how you can save hundreds of dollars if this is your first time getting into e-fire. Some of you guys that have been thinking about switching from hand fire to e-fire completely may see something like this and be overwhelmed. And that is okay. I know it looks like rocket science and it technically is if you think about it, but it is really not that bad. In front of me, you'll see a couple of things. We've got two cakes here by the 76 Pro line. A lot of you guys are familiar with this brand in particular. We've got duct tape, a brass awl, which is fairly cheap. We've got the MJG Firewire initiators. That's what they look like. We've got the 18R2 remote, we've got an antenna and a pair of keys. Up here we've got an 18M module with two keys and an additional antenna right up here. The 18M here is by Cobra Firing Systems. You can see the website right there. And I've actually got three of these. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I could save you hundreds of dollars on a firing system like this. And we are gonna get to that, but before we do, I wanna show you just how simple this is to learn and use because I see a lot of people overcomplicate this system and it really doesn't need to be like that. If I can learn it, so can you. Before we get into the firing system, you must learn how to prime your consumer or Proline cakes. Now, fortunately enough, Spirit of 76 has started to add an e-fire port right here. But sometimes you don't always get that luxury and you end up with something like this, where it's just a fuse. That is okay, this system is built to work the same way on this. With a little help from a brass awl, some duct tape, and two MJG fire wires, we are gonna set off both of these cakes with the Cobra firing system. First thing you wanna do, get the brass awl. Now find the fuse on the firework. You're gonna tear off the cardboard here. Find the point where the fuse enters the firework. It is actually not here. You probably cannot see this on camera, but the fuse actually runs further down this cake. So we have to tear away more cardboard before puncturing this thing. See what I mean? There's more than meets the eye. Now that you've found your port of entry, you're going to take your brass awl, and it should be a very, very sharp one. And you're gonna stick that right above where the fuse enters. So that point, I'll show you up close, is about right there. And then you're just going to press this in and you're technically just making that hole a little larger. That's all you wanna do. Do not pull the fuse out, keep it in. You will know that you have hit the black powder by shaking it around like this. You can actually hear the granules in there moving around. Then just pull this out and you'll see we've got a nice size hole there. What you'll do at this point is unwrap your MJG wire and you'll see that little red cap there. That actually can pull down, but I highly recommend you do not pull that down. Instead, leave it on there because it shoots a flame about three inches into the cake. So that's why you can use these on no abs and still trust that that flame is getting that far down into the tube. You'll take the little red thing and you'll notice it's about the same size as the awl. You will push that right into the hole you just made. I'm gonna take off a little piece of duct tape here, put it right over that, and that way this wire is not going anywhere. Now, guess what? You are ready to fire this out of a firing system. You see how easy that was? All right, our friends at 76 Pro Line have made this way too easy for us. All we're gonna do is tear back this little thing, and that just says e-port, if any of you are wondering. Here you will find a little black cap. Pull that out, take your MJG wire, and stick that in. Look at how easy that was. And we'll just cover that little hole with this piece of tape, and be sure not to cover the fuse while you're doing that. Our two cakes are ready to go. The only thing left to do is remove the cap on this and hook it up to the firing system. So now let's go take a look at that. We are currently indoors, so we are going to pretend that we have already hooked up our wires to the cues. To show you just how easy this system actually is, I'm going to attempt to do the fastest Cobra tutorial on YouTube. Step one, take your key. Put the key in the ignition, go to test. Let it run those tests. Tests are complete. Attach your antenna to significantly increase your range. Antenna is now attached. Take remote, take the key, insert the key, on. Channel one, channel one. Attach the antenna to significantly increase your range. Rake the antenna. Antenna broken. Sinking together, or as I like to call it, party mode. We do not have wires in the queues yet, and that is why there is no green lights. Arm the Cobra. Arm the remote. Now push one to blow something up. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say this, that is all there is to it to the 18M. Now we are ready to go enjoy our fireworks. Before we do that, I would like to share with you guys how you can save hundreds of dollars on one of these exact same systems. 
Before we continue with how to save money on these firing systems, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Cobra. So if you guys had any doubts about this company before watching this video, just know that they've got an incredible support team that stands by every day, willing to help you with any questions you may have. They are also a US-based company. There was one time in particular when I was doing a firework display, and I couldn't quite figure out how to get the Talon igniters to work, so I called Scott, it was a Saturday night, and it was like 8 or 9 p.m. He answered the phone and walked me through step by step how to do it. And customer support is what sells me on a product personally, and they did an outstanding job with helping me resolve my issue. If you've considered e-firing in the past, I highly recommend Cobra, and now is the time to get in more than ever. The whole system is reusable, you can learn scripting after you learn manual fire, and the possibilities are really endless. Some of you guys probably remember from my past video, I am going to be attending CobraCon in Indiana. That is a great place to learn how to use this system and with to save some money on your Cobra firing system. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for besides the part at the end where we're gonna light those fireworks off. With Black Friday right around the corner, it might be a good idea to head over to the Cobra firing systems website and just take a look at the massive deals they've got right on the front page. There's even more down here. We're gonna talk about all of it. So obviously on the banner right up front, you can see it starts on Friday, November 29th from midnight to midnight. So you'll have 24 hours to take advantage of these deals. The three highlighted areas here are pretty important. Up to $125 off core equipment like the Cobra firing systems in general, 10% off accessories like this sweater I'm wearing right now. And they've even got up to $189 off starter packages, which is something for new customers only. But don't worry, everybody gets taken care of on Black Friday. Also, I think this is awesome. They have actually reopened the early bird pricing for CobraCon, which I've mentioned before. I'm going to say it again. I will be at CobraCon. So if you want to meet me, I will not only be there, but you'll get to learn about your new Cobra firing system. These are some of the deals for Black Friday, but I know it's kind of hard to see this. So I'm going to put a nice eight HD picture right over here on the screen. Now we talked about new customers and pre-existing customers. I do want to talk about the new customers first since this video is kind of geared towards the new guy. They've got a new customer package deal which actually features the items I just showed you in this video. You can not only get an 18R2 remote and 18M but you can also get the 18R2, 36M and 72M. There's tons of flexibility for new customers, and that's just one of their package deals on the website. And I guess the whole time I was talking about those package deals, I was on the wrong screen. These are the package deals, and that picture I put in the right side of your screen was the package deals. One final thing you should note about the package deals is that last year they did this with the 18R2 and the 18M but this year they are doing it for all modules, including the 36M and the 72M. So you can see here on the package deals, all of those are gonna be listed. So this part of the page here is for existing customers. And if you are a pre-existing customer, I'm gonna take a nice little screenshot of this and also put it here on the screen. And that right there is how you can save hundreds of dollars if you're becoming a new Cobra user or if you are a pre-existing customer. Now, without any further delays, let's go shoot off the Two Cakes by 76 Pro line. And don't worry guys, of course I am going to show you what to do with the wire and how to hook it up. What we're gonna do first is bend it up then we're going to remove the black portion of the top and you'll see you are left with two wires that sometimes come intertwined um, but what you do is you take these wires here in the split and then you actually bend them in half to make a loop this is not required but it is highly recommended and the reason i do this is because in firework displays this gives you two chances that it'll work because if it's not hitting on this side it is going to hit on the other side then you'll notice here that the Cobra firing system is off. The keys are not in. You take your wire. We're gonna hook this one up to Q1 as kind of an example. Then we're gonna actually go outside and shoot it. So you would take the one and you can actually get a little more space by just splitting that right down the middle. So then you'll take the one and you'll put it here in the black side. And then you'll take this one and put it here on the red side. Those should fit very nice and smoothly. As you can see, there's really no wire showing. And if you've done that right, it'll show continuity on the remote by the button turning green. All right, my brother is on the remote and now we're gonna shoot these off. But first I'm going to close the Cobra and now we'll just get back and enjoy the show. So let's see the remote. Okay, so what I want you to do, whenever you're ready, just push one.
Now I'll go ahead and push two whenever you're ready. This is the big 500 gram. beautiful lace effects well guys that was the cobra firing system do not forget to check out their black friday deals and i really hope you guys enjoyed